so what is cyber crime so it is basically criminal activity carried out by means of computers technology so why question is why it is increasing so much let's take an example i have to go to your house to commit a robbery or a theft but it is very risky for me you might be having cctv cameras watchman watchdog and so many type of the sensors and gadgets so why should i take so much of the risk i can simply send you a link or your parents a link so that when your dad clicks on that link the details of his credit card or debit card will come to me so that's why it is increasing so much that it can be done remotely i can do it from mall i can do it from an airport or sitting uh, on a beach i can do it and second thing is there is a curtain of anonymity it's very difficult to find out internet is a basically it's a uh, it's a jungle it's a very there are so many type of wild animals are there and it is very difficult to find someone because the person could be sitting in canada and using the infrastructure of germany and is doing hacking in india so all three and four governments of the, those countries need to collaborate to find out the person so that's why it is very difficult to find a cyber criminal and they are getting intelligent because the ai is coming into the scene artificial intelligence artificial intelligence is of course it is helping out the cyber security but it is again used by cyber criminals too you must have heard about deep fakes like you can create anyone's video anyone's image and you can spread the misinformation so these day you need to be very careful what you see on social media because most of the things that could be ai generated and hackers there are so many type of hackers black hat white hat gray hat we are concerned about basically black hat and white hat white hat hacking is a profession when we are talking about profession in cyber security it means you want to become white hat hacker those are the professional like i am a white hat hacker i have a degree i this is a global certification ceh certified as a hacker ethical hacker i cleared that so now i can go in company and test their infrastructure so that i can see that there is no loophole in the infrastructure and nobody can take advantage of that vulnerability other is black hat black hat are basically they are criminals they are cyber criminals they take advantage of ignorance of people they do all the nasty things bad things bypass the security bypass uh, password access data without permission all those sort of things are doing black hat so you need if you want to go into the profession you need to be it means you want to be a white hat hacker otherwise technique is same same method the use same tools are used only difference is of being ethically right they are ethical hackers and black hats are basically cyber criminals hacking many types of uh, cyber crimes are there we are discussing four or five types like first is hacking hacking can be done two ways like one is through tools and other is social engineering this is very important tools is basically like you go to cyber cafe he has a small software which can record your keystrokes when you are accessing your facebook or gmail or any email service you are typing your username and password and that will get recorded that is hacking through tools other is social engineering this is the most dangerous thing and it forms the basis of all type of cyber crime social engineering is like taking advantage of goodness of people it's like like somebody comes to a uh, school and say that i am from the dell company and our company is providing free servicing camp for your computers and your hod says uh, principal says okay you come and you can service our computers you can 
because those are already running slow so you see what is the problem so somebody comes sits on the computer and after some time he deletes some temporary files and goes away but what ha actually happened he was some some uh, person with uh, malicious intents he downloaded some software so that whatever students are doing whatever the accounts department is doing that information is now getting transferred to some third party so you need to be aware about the social engineering there is no antivirus there is no anti malware against it then is cyber bullying stalking we have a section on that identity theft is basically impersonating someone to take advantage of his financial status and this is directly linked to phishing phishing is of many type we will be talking about web phishing web phishing is basically duplicates of genuine web pages like here you can see this is a fake facebook page it will be exactly same only difference will be between the url the web address because on internet no two website have the same web address that is called ur url uniform resource locator so whenever you open a page if you have to enter your credential do check the address bar whether it is the same which you wanted it to be opened or it is different yeah this is face look there are there are phishing pages of all type of banks so only difference is web address you need to be very particular when you go to a cyber cafe or on a public computer when you open a page do check is it the same page which you are which you are intended to open or it has changed to something else and then you enter your credentials then there is email spoofing email spoofing is basically the email appearing to come from a legitimate source you will see that you will see that it has come from your school or from your friend it will look like this abc school and you will see that some notice some uh, some message has come from your school and there will be the purpose of email spoofing is to send something malicious to you it it will be maybe it is written that okay now you you can download today's lecture today's video from this link when you will click on that link some malware will get installed on your computer and all your whatever is there will be passed on to some third party or will be encrypted you cannot open it or many other things can happen so you need to be very sure that you don't do not click on any do not open any spoof email and do not click on any random link what is the purpose of a spoof email opening a file attachment to install a ransomware ransomware is very much disturbing the lives today it what it will do it will encrypt the data encrypt means nobody can read it if it is your computer a ransomware has come now you will switch on your computer it will give you a message that your data has been locked your computer has been locked now you pay the ransom like you, you pay in bitcoins and then you will be given a key key means a password to open your file so it all happens because we click on random links generally a spoofed email is like this you can see there is request for personal information there is a threat like your your account will be blocked your atm card will be blocked and then there will be a link where you will click and your computer will get compromised so now i think mike is okay i can switch on
dominoes there was a recent scam basically in 2020 download free voucher to get dominoes pizza and the page was exactly looking like dominoes do you know the exact web address url of the dominoes website i don't think that all of you know the exact web address of dominoes website you just just type dominoes in the search bar whatever links come in the top you click on that and you uh, order the things but it's not that, like that you should know the exact web address of dominoes or it is safe to order through apps use apps and always mouse over the email this is the precaution you just need to hover your mouse over sender's name and it will show you the exact web address i will show you okay and make sure that you maintain effective antivirus because as you have uh, i told you that 67% of malware is coming from play stores so there is a protection okay most of us have antivirus for our desktop or pcs but we don't have for our smartphone don't forget to have an antivirus for your smartphone that is very necessary you can buy trend micro uh you can buy casper sky i am using casper sky for last many years it's a good antivirus you can buy norton you can buy uh mccafe these three five antiviruses are there which you can install one and this is not costly maybe 500 rupees for a year less than cost of a pizza so have an antivirus for your laptop as well as for your phone and there are malicious software you just read this there are software which can hack your mic your webcam your computer everything can be compromised and this is hap this happens because we click on and then link like click here to win a free ipod click here to win a free trip to goa click here to win a date with ranveer kapoor click here to do that click here to scan your computer with free antivirus so these type of random links will surely install some malware on your computer malware means a malicious software it could be a virus it could be trojan it could be worm it could be anything there are so many types so you can see that webcam of that girl was hacked because she must have clicked on some link and then she was blackmailed but luckily that person was caught okay we will leave this and sometimes we feel that our wifi is running very slow and we think that it has been compromised people are using it without our permission so what you can do is there are few apps like one is network scanner app other is ping you don't need to do anything just install that app connect to your wifi and open that app it will show you how many devices are connected with your router you know that the device you have which has antenna that is called router actually this is a combination of modem and router but commonly we say it is router so you can see if you have only three devices and it is showing you seven devices it means your wifi has been hacked somebody else is using without your permission how to secure your gmail not gmail but all the accounts it could be your facebook maybe instagram maybe gmail or yahoo before that i need to introduce a concept of keystroke recording software these are called key loggers as i mentioned before key loggers are basically when you enter something when you type something it gets recorded you can see in the screen that this is email address and password but behind the scene it is being recorded
so it can record your keystrokes and advanced key loggers can record everything your chat messages for screenshots your webcam everything it can record so you need to be very careful when you click on link and when you use your webcam if they are webcam covers use that when you are not using a video conferencing app or where your webcam is not being used your cover should be there on the webcam it is also available from the smartphone and there are apps which block the camera of your smartphone use those apps or otherwise buy a cover this is must because you won't notice you can't notice there will there will not be any blinking light to show you that your webcam is working when you are not using nothing it will simply record so be careful again method of installing is same when you click on some random link it gets installed there was lot of noise about pegasus we don't have time to discuss it but pegasus was a very deadly type of keylogger which once comes on your smartphone you need to throw your phone only then it can it will go away otherwise you reset it double reset it format it it will it won't go and there are hardware keyloggers now what you get world's best antivirus best anti malware it cannot detect the hardware keyloggers and so first of all you should not use public computer public computer means which is not your computer it could be your uh, library computer it could be your friends computer it could be cyber cafe's computer all are public computers a computer on in airport or anywhere don't use that they are different password capturing method and you should have a strong password as you must have heard many times a combination of upper case lower case numbers and symbols at least it should be 10 to 13 characters long and better is you use a passphrase passphrase is which has spaces you can see in the example that i am a good boy that this one this is a passphrase and now how to protect your devices is implement multi factor authentication or two factor authentication i think many of you will be knowing that that it is basically when you enter your username and password a security code comes on your mobile phone verification code then you need to enter that verification code along with the password and only that then your account will be open let us suppose that you have gone to cyber cafe you use your gmail okay username and password is there he has recorded it but if you had implemented two factor authentication then he won't be able to open it why because whenever he will try to open it a code will come on your mobile phone and your mobile phone is with you only so you are secured so whether it's instagram it's facebook it's gmail do implement it this is the only way because and there are so many type of password breaking softwares and methods that password is no protection and there is also option of go passwordless we don't have time so i cannot display i have demo but go passwordless you can search how to go passwordless in gmail or whatever account you want to implement that you don't need to enter the password you will find the steps there especially in gmail they have introduced google has introduced hotmail uh, outlook that have they have introduced microsoft has introduced no password passwordless entry to your accounts mobile security just read this you must know how to find your phone if it is lost and there are inbuilt utilities in android and 
icon both. And especially about the apps, because these apps can talk to each other, they can share their data. You never know who developed the app, what was the intention of the developer, which uh, information that developer is gathering through the app. It is very difficult to know. So use minimum number of apps and take control of their permissions. When you go to the settings and apps, you can see the which app is using which permission. You can you should disable the permissions which is not required for that app. Like you have a calendar app and it is asking for a permission to your camera. So it means there is something suspicious. Why does it need to uh, access to your camera? It is a calendar app. So whenever it is asking for permissions, you should look for the genuity that whether it is necessary for this app to use this uh, component of the device. Coffee shop, airports, we use Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi is there. And we think we are connected like this, user Wi-Fi internet. But actually there is called man in the middle attack. This is very common somewhere in between is basically is accessing your data, reading the data, can modify the data. So don't forget to use a public Wi-Fi without a virtual private network, VPN. You must have heard about VPNs. Basically it is, it provides an encrypted kernel about the data. No one can read it, not your ISP, your service provider. No one can read it, not the hackers, not even the government. <clears throat> and this is very serious and very few people know about it. There are pen drive copiers. When you install, when you give a pen drive to a person and he touches the CPU, he might be having a software which will copy all the files onto his computer. Cyberbullying, stalking, it is very demoralizing, but you don't need to be afraid of. If you want to report it, you just need to remember that you need a digital evidence of the cyber bullying. Like somebody has sent you a message or a WhatsApp, which is disturbing you, you want to report it, take the screenshot of that. Because along with the complaint, you need to tap, tap screenshot. Only that your, then your complaint will be entertained. That will be registered. Otherwise, without digital evidence, your complaint will is, is not valid. You don't forget to collect the digital evidence. There is extension Nimbus that can help you a lot because if you want to capture 10 pages of a website in a single screenshot, you can do with this. How to scare images, videos, very simple method is watermarking. Watermark your images. So if someone wants to manipulate it, he cannot. If you want to copy it, your watermark will go along. We are running out of time, so just five minutes more I will take. ATM frauds. You must have heard the card was in the pocket, but 20,000 rupees were deducted. And the transaction happened in Germany. How that, how does that happen? They are basically capturing devices. These are called schemers. This is the actual device. This is put on top of that. When someone will enter the card, the details on the magnetic stripe of the card will get captured. And now person enters the pin. They are false pin pad overlays. When someone, someone will enter the pin, Pin will be entered, but it will also get recorded. You can see that this is the false pin pad over here. Complete setup. This is a normal ATM, but there is a camera. 
hidden camera is angle so be aware that when you see some device some accessory around you the atm it could be a flower pot it could be a brochure holder it could be anything be aware that if that thing is there don't use that atm and when that atm pin is recorded uh, then information on the magnetic stripe is recorded duplicate duplicate card blank cards are available on the internet cloners are available on the internet and duplicate duplicate card is created within minutes and transaction happens or from the duplicate card and the message comes to you that rupees 20000 have been deducted and always use the chip based card which is a more secure and this is the last section now we have you can read this what happens is basically we are using apps like paytm gpay phone pay we scan the qr code to make the payment but what is this qr code actually you just scan it but what is actually do you know it just looks like a black and white matrix but this is basically a curtain what is behind the curtain a qr code is much more capable than you think it can install a malware on your smartphone it can direct to your web website it can display some text image video anything so do not scan the random qr code especially sent by unknown person i by rule never send a scan a qr code because in newspaper daily there are so many qr codes scan here to get the more information about this product scan here to more information about this uh, new product or new perfume or new uh, soap but don't do that and the final word is that it could be potentially hiding any dangerous malware which will hack your computer not only your sorry hack your smartphone not only smartphone but all of your contacts also their their smartphones and their whatsapp they, that can also be compromised through your smartphone i always whenever i have to make payment i ask the person you give me your mobile number and then i search on gpay or paytm and then i make the payment i don't scan qr codes and you should know how to report this is in india there is a website cybercrime.gov.in you don't need to run around to find a cyber cell where to report you can just go to this website and you can report your case along with the digital evidence as i told you and help line number is 155260 you can dial it don't waste time don't shy away don't be afraid from the cyber bullying just report it all contact numbers state wise contact numbers nodal cyber cell officer divins officers are given there you can talk to them directly so that's all this is my uh whatsapp number phone number email if you have any issue i keep getting uh, because th these days cyber crime is spreading so much that many of my students are facing the problem so they directly contact me they whatsapp me get my advice and this i have my instagram and linkedin handle you can scan it if you want i have a reporting section in my instagram section instagram account they are i daily upload two to three cyber crime news and cyber security tips so that's all now i will take your uh, question answer session and about career in cyber security basically you don't need to worry right now you are in, you have lot of time 
actually you should stress on how computer works how the system works how the operating system works it's all perfect it's all core just like the way this promise to us right okay excellent okay thank you so much that that's cool that's this there. tab on your screen sir so yeah thank you so much Arun, there's an additional time. tab that you opened by mistake yeah yeah uh, yeah if you can just stop sharing and you can come in the screen yeah. this time, right uh, that's great help you know uh, i i understand in fact if you can just spend a couple of minutes on uh, on kind of avenues available you know or kind of career avenues available yeah, that, in that, cyber that, that security yeah, at least a broad framework right yeah uh, uh, actually and what does it take to build up you know you said understand computers or technology uh, is mathematics important not important uh, Stuff like yeah, that. I, I'm 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 coming to that. I'm coming to that. First of all, you can get it into two ways. One is that like you have uh, non-medical. After that, plus two, you can do engineering. Engineering is available now in cybersecurity. Computer science with major in cybersecurity. You can do that. You should prefer that because after three years, you will be a certified cybersecurity professional. Second thing is like you uh, you have done a mechanical engineering now you want to shift your career to cyber security then you need to clear uh, certification global certification courses like CEH certified certified ethical hacking that is there OSWP is there OSCP is there there are so many global certification you can search on the internet global certification on cyber security you will get a list. of the certification the qualification required and yes as sir was saying that mathematics is not required uh, for many fields actually cyber security is an umbrella term there are lot of fields under it okay there is one field is like cryptography we say cryptography cryptography is encrypting something make it unreadable from the hackers that is very much in demand because ransomware is spreading so much that we need to encrypt our data you need to encrypt our drive drive you need to encrypt your hard disk you encrypt your cloud and so many other things comes from the cryptography for that particular field i will say that mathematics is can be helpful for other fields mathematics is not necessary but the coding you should know like python is necessary uh, php you should know how network works that is essential that is not an option networking you should know linux you should know unix linux work on that how to work on that that you should know and you don't need to be master of all languages it's not that you need java you need c++ you need php you need this that no it's nothing like that there are tools basically which you will be operating ultimately and if you are good in coding you can create your own tools you should be you should go to that level that you should be able to create your own tools then you will be a successful cyber security expert and that comes under the coding like python is very being very much used for creating those tools otherwise they are ready made tools you will be using that and there is many fields under the cyber security like reverse engineering is that Re reverse engineering means you decompile something you get a malware okay this virus you just get a whole virus okay this is a virus now you decompile it how it was built on from you go from top to bottom to see that what is inside it that is called reverse engineering cryptography is there ceh cert certified ethical hacking or you can say that pen testing penetration testing is there penetration testing like i am a pen tester okay i am hired by companies to check their infrastructure whether their router is okay their website is okay is there any loophole that can be taken advantage by a black hat hacker so i need to secure their infrastructure now cloud is there iot devices is there so there are so many fields are coming and so many lines are opening in the cyber security Now cloud professionals like four years back when I did my CES, there was no cloud security professionals. But now the cloud security like uh, you are using Google Drive, okay? you are using uh, cloud services. How to secure those? That is that field has come up. So 
cyber security is a very vast field you need to have an idea of each field but you need to specialize in one field don't try to be a master of all fields you can't be so have a good idea about networking how a system works uh, coding one or two languages and that's it and a passion for basically for cyber security and it's a very good profession because one day covid will go away but cyber crime is not going to go away it's going to rise only 